Okay, this is Rod York with Rightcore. What we're going to do today is we're going to pour a table, concrete slab on a table. You already have the list of materials. You'll notice we have some of the 2x3s laying flat on the top rung of the table, which stood the table up. We're also going to do the same thing on the bottom of the rung of the table. Uh, we recommend that you cut a piece of OSB 13 and a half inches long, run the whole length, and then with the blade, or not all the way through, and split it. But Otis cuts them to 16 and 3 quarters and he uses two pieces on each one and then he duct tapes it back. What we're going to do is we're going to do all this until the whole table is filled with OSB. Use the two by threes and we're going to stand them on the ends, not laid flat. If it's done properly, what you'll have is you'll have a small gap in here, tight gap, but you'll have a bigger gap on the top one and on the very bottom one. Okay, we've got all the panels in we need for the table. And again, if you notice, the boards on the underneath are laying down flat, which gives you a bigger gap on the front. And you got a smaller gap on the three in the middle. See the back? It's deeper than the other ones. It's all screwed down and ready to be taped up. On the back side, you'll notice that the boards on the top are laying flat. And the ones in the middle are standing up. We've got them all in, we've got them screwed down, and we've got them ready to be taped. Okay, the first board we're going to do, we're going to measure right flush from the end. We're going to come over and we're going to measure if you want a two inches of concrete. You measure the distance from the top to the center of the hole. I'll do them if I got my center hole like this. Right there. And then you mark it up here. This is my top. Make sure you mark your top. Two inches you come concrete, two inches to the center of the hole. Do that for every hole. Recommended three quarter inch hole for everyone. Okay, we've got the side boards on, formed up all the way around. We just got them in loose. Just put the bolts in, just enough to hold it. Kind of flush. Okay, what we're doing now, we're using the blade to line up the height. We set the blade height to where it's just barely a touch. And then we will bring the board up and tighten it down to where it's just below the blade. We're doing this so that we know that the framing is perfectly level with the blade, not anything else.
Okay, once you pour all the concrete on the top of the table, you want to screed it with a board. Back and forth several times, get all the water off of it, zigzag back and forth. Wait 30 minutes, do it again. Come in a couple days, you got a brand new table.